We've gone ahead and we put a two block on the crane, we put a load cell on the crane. All that I have installed on my system is my wireless load cell. I want to put my wireless two block in. I have two ways I can do it. I can go in up front and I can put the ID in and add the two block switch. In this case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go look for it. So we've got the capability. We're going to go into system diagnostics. We're going to go into system sensors. We're going to go to radio network diagnostic. We have radio searching capability. So here we're going to search for the sensor. So Joel's hitting the button. This thing's actually going out into the environment and it's looking for a sensor. Uh, so it's going, it's just found the two blocks. So Joel's going to go ahead and he's going to hit the enter button and that's actually going to save the two block switch to the display. So we've automatically added a two block switch. We could do this with a load cell. We could do it whatever. Uh, we're going to have Joel go back in and add the wind speed sensor to the display. Uh, that way we will have load angle and two blocks set up in this system. So here he's going to go out and he's going to search for the sensor. And he's using the up button to scroll from one sensor to another. And when he finds the sensor that he wants, he simply goes in and he hits the enter button and he saves it. You'll notice that as this initializes, when it comes back out to the main screen, we found the wind speed, so it's adding it to the system. He comes back out, and you'll now notice on the main screen that I've got load cell. Now, if he hits the hoist button, he's also got wind speed. So we've just added two sensors on the fly. It's a very, very simple process.